What about passwords just told you what to expect when you guys go on the road? Um, they told us just to be ready, enjoy it. Um, I'm super excited, obviously. This is the first road trip, so just going to take it in um, and enjoy it with the team. Before you played in your first game, we were asking Coach what to expect, and he said, you know what, every time we put her out on the practice floor, we're a better team. And, I mean, that's kind of unusual for a, for a freshman. Do you just have a, a knack for the game, or why, why do you make this team better? Um, I would say my versatility, just being able to contribute, and my goal is just to help in any way I can. So whatever coach needs, the team needs, like I'll, I'll step up and I want to be able to do that. Um, that's a huge compliment, so it's very nice to, you know, for him to say that. But I just want to keep getting better and stay on the floor. It takes a certain amount of confidence to be able to do that, doesn't it, though, with a, a team that has so much history behind it, you just walk out there and say, okay, you're better now because I'm here? I mean, I think the courage and like the confidence comes from the team and them like instilling confidence within me, um, like Paige and all of them, like they believe in me. And I mean, that goes a long way when I'm playing for sure. The first two players that came out here said they think of Gino, they, they're scared of him. <laughs> Run me through the recruiting process. First time you're, you're getting the chance to meet the greatest coach in the sports history. What, what was that like for you and, and your family? When I first talked to him, I was kind of like blown away. You know, this is a legend you're speaking to. And I was like, oh my gosh, like I need to, you know, stay calm, you know, not mess up on my words and whatnot. But um, he's really easy to talk to um, once you just like continue to, you know, build the relationship and conversation. Did you have a moment during that first meeting or, or early on where you were, said, okay, I'm not afraid of this anymore, I can't. Like, did he do something that made you feel comfortable? Honestly, just the way he spoke about, like, the game and how, like, you know, he saw me play. Um, it just was like, yeah, I know, he's paying attention. Like, obviously, he knows um, the game of basketball really well. And just, like, we connect over playing and basketball just in general. So it was easy to feel comfortable in that aspect for sure. Is it easy? He refers to you as a, quote, ball of joy. <laughs> Is, 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 that, is that something that you, you hope or want your teammates to come away thinking? Yeah, the kind of teammate you want to be? definitely. Um, I want to just be a positive influence on everybody and bring in energy whenever, you know, somebody's down or just needs, like, a boost of energy, to be honest. I want to be able to give that um, and just be helpful. I said when you're on the bench, you know, you kind of get, you're always getting moving up and down the bench. Is that? Oh, yeah, the high fives? Yeah, yeah. Yes, I have been nominated as the three-point high five person. So <laughs> I take that with, you know, a lot. <laughs> I just go with it. Oh, were there tryouts? I mean, no, unless there were and I just happened to, you know, <laughs> miss it or just, but no, I was just told every time I get, there's a three made, I go from the beginning to the end, you know, just cheering everybody on. Mm -hmm. So. I take it. It's fun. <laughs> who, who, who told you that? Um, it was like a, it was like Aubrey, Anna, Az, Carol. It was like a collective decision. So they obviously figured that that your personality was conducive. Would match it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you spent so much of the off season kind of in and out of practice and rehabbing and things. Just how have you been able to kind of get comfortable with this group so quickly, mm -hmm. not having been a full participant in practice for so long? Yeah, I'm definitely still acclimating to everything. Um, everyone's been super helpful on my way, like you know, to being fully incorporated. Um, but you know, I just try and take everything one day at a time and you know give it my all when I'm out there. Has it been helpful for you to have other players also kind of recovering and going through that process of, of getting mm -hmm. back on the floor with you? Yeah, definitely. I mean, Aubrey, um, she's always like there to support me. All of them are, but um, you know, just being that kind of someone to lean on, like she's definitely been there for me um, in, you know, in a lot of ways and just reminding me that every day that I get to progress is a day, you know, I take as a win. So I just have been trying to move forward, move the needle forward for sure. How do you look back on your first two college games? Um, it was a lot of fun. Um, the atmosphere was crazy. Um, so grateful for all the fans and you know just being able to play with this team is really exciting. You have a big bruiser on your arm there. You didn't get that from from being like, oh no all happy go lucky. I don't know where that <laughs> came from. Um, I feel like because I am pretty pale, it shows up more so <laughs> than you know other people per se. But um, yeah, no, I think this is just. Probably from one of the practice players on the men's side. <laughs> probably just elbow me. Okay. Do, do you flip a switch when they, when they say it's time to go in the game and, yeah. and okay, now it's time time to get down and dirty and, and do, do all the dirty stuff? Yes, yeah. Once it's game time, you'll see, like, different personality come out. But besides that, when I'm off the court, I want to just be 
positive or ball of energy or joy. <laughs> what is that game personality for you? Describe it. Just a competitor, um, going to get on the floor, rebound, get second chance opportunities, um, not be afraid, and just like hit the ground running. You said coach is easy to talk to. Is he easy to play for? I mean, I think it's a challenge, you know, like it definitely is, um, but that's because he's pushing us to be our best, and I wouldn't want it any other way. Like, I know what I'm expected to do, and if I'm not doing that, then he's going to get on me, but it's in, it's in the right way, it's in the right manner. Like, I know at the end, it's going to help us as a team moving forward. He just said in kind of a jealous way that um, coach is a lot easier on this freshman class, likes this freshman class better than he liked hers. Do you, do you see that? I mean, is he a little nicer to you guys? Or? I mean, I don't know. I, I wouldn't know what Paige, you know, went through her freshman year exactly, but um, I just take it as it comes. How are you feeling just having dealt with the, the uh, injury issues that you've had now that you've played a couple games? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I feel pretty good. Um, you know, being available is really nice and just being able to play and um, sustain, you know, all the load and everything. Still getting used to it, you know, getting my legs underneath me and whatnot, but um, every day is a step forward for sure. Do you remember yeah. the first time Gino yelled at you for something? Um, I don't remember the first time, but I remember it was just like, Morgan! And I was like, yeah, that's on me. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was my fault. <laughs> Have you found East Coast uh, people or culture different than West Coast? Um, you guys are really nice. Yeah, people are, yeah, very nice. Um, very welcoming. Um, yeah, just good people. I feel surrounded by good people. Where do you get the nice guys? <laughs> <laughs> well, I believe Coach said that your your injuries kind of dated back to high school, mm -hmm. and that this was the first opportunity you really had to work on it. Is that is that the mm -hmm. way it is? Yeah, I've had some lingering stuff from high school, um, but definitely getting stronger and um, feeling good about where I'm at right now. In addition to the talent that you bring to the team, what, what do you believe that your personality does for the team? Um, I would say just boost the energy, the mood, um, good vibes. Um, I hope to bring that every day. And when I don't, then I know that I'm not giving you know, all that I can. So I just try and be there for people um, and hype, hype everyone up.